So with title update 15 and season nine officially out, we got a lot of new flashy toys, right? But what people are forgetting about are our older builds that can be upgraded, a couple pieces swapped out, a couple talents re-rolled, and you have yourself an even better build than before. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys one of the builds that a lot of people like to use for Legendary. And there is a good reason why, because in Legendary you have a lot of enemies, and if you can put out damage to multiple enemies at once, as you guys are seeing here, I'm focusing one enemy and the other enemies were taking damage, it helps you get through content a lot faster, and that's less people shooting at you. Even though this is heroic, the same concept goes here, right? We shoot one enemy, we're marking other enemies, and we're just trying to put damage on multiple enemies at once so we can clear this as fast as possible. And even with barely any armor on this build, I'm shredding enemies and still surviving. Yes, there are some close calls where I need to pop an armor kit, but if you play the build right, you'll notice right off the bat, this is an absolutely beast of a build. Now, I will tell you guys, we're showing you a little bit of heroic content, but we do have some legendary gameplay in just a second. I just wanted to show you these enemies, how I target them, right? I target one, I target the other, and then look at the chunk of armor that is coming off of each of the other enemies that I have targeted. And that's why I actually love this. I, I think it's one of the funner builds to use, and if you guys have never used negotiators, I highly recommend testing it out. And the same concept goes with legendary content. The reason it's so good is you have a lot of enemies, right, that spawn at once. So with this build, you want to mark at least three enemies so you can get that extra damage on all three enemies while just shooting one. Sometimes what you could do is mark enemies and then mark a skill. So right now you can see I'm shooting the box and that still will target the other enemy, right? And that's what's actually really good about it. You can target one enemy, you could target a skill, and you could target another enemy, and you could just do damage to all three of them simultaneously. And the same concept goes, you gotta stay in cover with this build because especially in Legendary, if you're doing this solo, you will notice this a lot more. Now you can run this build in solo or in group play, and I actually have gameplay running a version of this build in Legendary on the channel, so you guys can go back and take a look at that. But that's enough gameplay. Wouldn't you guys like to know? how I have the build set up, let's get into it. So for the weapon, we are using the Carbine 7. Now, if you don't have this, the Police M4 is another great substitute, or you could even go back to one of the harder hitting ARs in the game, the Kingbreaker. Now, this Carbine 7 with this build has 111,000 damage, 790 RPM with the 50 round mag, has assault rifle, health damage, and then it has 7% damage to targets out of cover, which I still want to keep improving to get that 10% so I can max it out. Now, I decided to roll flatline on here, amplifies weapon damage by 15% to post enemies. After three kills, applies pulse to the next enemy you hit. So a great talent to have, especially with pulse builds. And I decided to run it with the carbine seven since I had something different rolled on here. Now I do have a crit chance scope on here with the 20 round extended mag. We have the link laser pointer, allows us to pulse our enemies. And then also we have a muzzle break with 5% critical hit chance. For the secondary, you can run whatever you guys want. I have the Eagle Bear on there just really for show, just I like it how it looks when it's on my backpack. So for the build itself, we have the Negotiator's Dilemma. Yes, this is still one of my favorite builds to run and one that I like to run on those harder difficulties just because I can ping a lot of enemies and put out a lot of damage all at once. Three enemies can get the same amount of damage and you'll see why in a second. So the two piece gives us that 15% crit chance, the three piece gives us that 20% crit damage, and the four piece is why this build is actually really good. Critical hits mark enemies for 20 seconds, up to three marks total. When you critically hit a marked enemy, all other marked enemies take 60% of the damage dealt, and we're gonna improve this. Whenever a marked enemy dies, you gain 2% critical hit damage, stacking up to 20 times or until the combat ends. So that means if you get enough kills, right off the bat, you could have 40% critical hit damage, and that is amazing. You'll see how much we have, and then we'll remember to add to the end. Now I have weapon damage on here, critical hit damage, and then I have a critical hit chance mod. For the chest piece, we went with the Fenris chest piece for the 10% assault rifle damage. We have weapon damage, we have critical hit damage, we have critical hit chance and a critical hit damage mod. And then look at this, we have spotter, amplifies total weapon damage and skill damage by 15% to pulse enemies. So just remember that when you guys are paying attention to this. 
For our second piece of negotiators, we are running the holster with weapon damage, critical hit damage. For our knee pads, we are running the Overlord named knee pads, the Fox Pair knee pads for the weapon damage, the 8% damage to targets out of cover, which is multiplicative. So I decided to go with this. So we'll have, once I have the weapon fully maxed out, you will have 18% total damage to targets out of cover. And then we have 12% critical hit damage right here. For our third piece of negotiators, we have weapon damage, critical hit damage. And for our final piece, I decided to go with the negotiators in level backpack. And this is why it has weapon damage, critical hit chance, and I put a critical hit damage mod on there. And then I have the talent that I love running when I run this build. Increases hostile negotiators, damage to additional marked enemies from 60% to 100%. So that means instead of them taking that 60% damage, they're taking 100% of our critical hits and that's why when you have a high crit chance crit damage build this thing starts to perform really well if you even look at our stats right you look at the stats we have 52 percent crit chance on this build 148 percent critical hit damage and then remember when we have a max out 20 stack that's 40 percent extra critical hit damage so we have 188 percent critical hit damage and we can definitely improve this to 190 total we have 75 percent headshot damage 21% health damage, and then remember we have 18% damage to targets out of cover. Once I get that Carbine 7's damage to targets out of cover maxed out. For the skills, I am running the Striker Drone, and this works great with Spotter, right? Because it also gets 15% amplified damage. So that's what I'm doing here. This is tier one skill because we are running the Technician class for the Link Laser Pointer, and so we also get one tier. So that means our Striker Drone's gonna hit a little bit harder. Now I pair this up with the scanner pulse and the only reason I honestly am running the scanner pulse is because I like to see the full battlefield, right? If, if I'm firing at one air, I hit the pulse, I can look around really quick and I know where everybody's at and then I can go focus that area. And that's what you guys saw in this control point. And that's why I'm telling you guys, if you guys are looking for a build that can take out multiple enemies at once, this is going to be the build for you guys. If you guys have any questions on this build, let me know in the comments. I appreciate the support, appreciate the love you guys have been showing lately on this channel. Remember, if any of your friends have any questions about content, builds, tips and tricks, how-to videos, I have full playlists on this channel right here for you. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, hey, nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.